So let's start with some basics here. So let's start with the coronary circulation. So this is our heart and coronaries are one of the, the first branches that comes out of the aorta and we can see here that this is the right coronary coming out of the uh, root of the aorta and uh, this is the left main coronary coming from the other side. If we follow the right main coronary, we'll notice that it moves this way to supply the inferior wall of the heart via the acute marginal artery and then it turns around to supply the right ventricle, supply the posterior wall of the heart as well via the posterior descending artery. A couple of things to notice regarding the right coronary artery. One of the first branches here is the sinus node branch. So the blood supply to the SA node comes from the proximal uh, end of the right coronary. That's why proximal occlusion of the right coronary can result into sinus bradi because of the ischemia to the SA node. And if we keep following the right coronary, we'll notice that towards the end, one of the branches there is the AV nodal branch. So again, blood supply to the AV node comes from the right coronary uh, mainly. So again, distal occlusion of the right coronary can result of all sorts of heart block because of the ischemia to the AV node. So that's why bradyarrhythmias in general are far more common with right coronary occlusion compared to left coronary occlusion, simply because the blood supply to the SA node and AV node are both mainly coming from the right coronary artery. Moving on to the other side, we will notice that this is our left main coronary artery. Then it splits into the LAD, so left anterior descending artery, that supplies the anterior wall of the heart. And then the circumflex that supplies the lateral wall of the heart and turns around to supply share uh, to anastomose with the left with the right coronary to supply the posterior wall of the heart and the posterior part of the septum. So this is in summary the coronary artery circulation. And uh, this is a nice diagram uh, that correlates the blood supply to where um, to which wall of the heart is uh, affected um, in the ACG paper. So 2, 3 VF, inferior wall of the heart supplied by the right coronary artery. 1 AVL, V5 and V6 is the lateral wall of the heart supplied by the left circumflex artery. And V1 to V4, that is the anterior wall of the heart supplied by the LAD or the left anterior descending artery.